Welcome to the Interreg EMR online tutorial on the flexibility rule. So today we're going to present you the 20% budget flexibility rule. Um, first of all, I'm going to present you the general principles of that rule, and that's basically allowing projects to overspend any approved project budget line and work package by up to 20%. So you can go on any budget line or work package level to up to 120% of your initially approved budget. Of course, the right to overspend means that it has to be counterbalanced by lower spending on other budget lines or work packages. Um, but still, it gives you quite a lot of flexibility on implementing your project vis-a-vis uh, -vis the originally planned budget. Um, there are a couple of limitations nonetheless, so I will mention those as well. So first of all, you cannot increase your overall total approved project budget, so that's that's limited. Also, the total approved partner budget cannot be increased. And finally, the work package management is also excluded from the flexibility rule. This is to do with the, with the co-financing, special co-financing of this work package. Okay, uh, as I just mentioned, um, the, the flexibility rule means really it's a possibility to overspend. You do not amend your application form. Um, it is also automatically granted, so it's not that you have to get pre-approval by the program. Uh, it is okay to overspend on, on uh, the budget line or on the work package until you reach the 120%. Uh, and I think the most important thing here to consider is really that it's applied on project level, not on partner level. Um, so that means actually that at partner level, you may be able to exceed the budget by more than 20% uh, on the budget lines or the work package level, as long as it's agreed with the lead partner and the project partnership. So we do recommend that you find internal agreements on how you handle this. Um, and of course, your overall partner budget may not be exceeded, as I just said, as I just said earlier. Um, also, you might sometimes uh, face a situation uh, that you need uh, an overspending by more than 20%. In this case, uh, the rule still applies that you need to uh, request a major change. But I think for most projects, the 20% uh, will give you quite a lot of flexibility. Um, in order not to need and not yeah, that you do not have to request a budget change. I will now run through a couple of examples so that you understand the application of the flexibility rule a bit better. So uh, first of all, how to calculate uh, the maximum overspend. Um, so how much, how far can you go for the flexibility rule? So on the left side here, you see a project uh, with a staff cost and budget of 2 million, uh, administration cost of uh, 90,000. Um, there's some mistake in here, it should not be 90,000. Yes. Um, travel cost of 9,000, external expertise of 100,000. So in practice, how far can you overspend with the flexibility rule? Uh, if you look at the staff cost budget line, you can go up to 400,000. So in total, you might be able to spend 2 million and 400,000 on the staff cost budget line. Um, so that really gives you a lot of flexibility, but that means also those extra 400,000 that you spend on, on the staff cost budget line, you need to save uh, somewhere else. Uh, so it's just a theoretical example. Actually, in this case, you will not, not be able uh, because you don't have enough budget under the other budget lines. Um, but of course, you do not. You always need to go to the maximum of the hundred percent of the twenty percent. This is really just a um, um, calculation example. On the, uh, if we look at uh, external expertise, also here, um, I made a little mistake in the in the presentation. I will correct this elsewhere. Um, you can go up to twenty thousand overspending. So, that was written here, uh, ten thousand. 20% of 100,000 are, of course, 20,000. So you might go up to 120,000 on the external expertise budget line. Um, however, uh, I think important to notice here, the equipment budget line, uh, this project didn't budget anything on the equipment budget line, has a budget of zero. 20% of zero is still zero. So the flexibility rule won't help you if you have any equipment expenditure. For this, you would still need to request a change. 
Okay, uh, let's go to the following example. Um, so uh, here we have uh, um, the project budget uh, of 200,000, of 2 million, sorry. Uh, the administration cost is 300,000, uh, travel cost 30,000, uh, expertise 20,000. That's the partner budget. Um, so can this partner uh, would it be possible for him to have expenditure on external expertise? Now, you might maybe think, well, he has zero budget here, 20% of zero is zero. But this is only, uh, this is a partner on project level, 20,000. So if the other partners are not using, uh, are, not, are not overspending, um, the, you actually have here uh, a lot of flexibility. So... Um, 22, what is it, how much, 44,000, uh, you have flexibility here. So if all the other partners remain within their budget, this partner may even uh, be able to spend uh, up to 44,000 um, of, of external expertise cost without needing to request any anything in addition. Of course, we're always assuming, uh, and this is the main um, yeah, understanding, that the project still follows uh, its, its overall objectives and the planned activities. So it's just like, because we know that on some, sometimes you need more budget or less budget for certain activities in the end, when you plan to this, the rule gives you the flexibility to do this. Um, and also on, uh, if you look here, we said before 400,000 uh, is uh, would be the fle maximum flexibility for this uh, staff cost budget line on project level. So even in this theoretical example, the, the partner could go to more than the 20% just on the staff cost budget. Okay, uh, let's see uh, a few other examples. Um, so we just look at the example here, staff cost still, we have still an example of 2 million. The actual spend of this project here is at 200, uh, 2,200,000. So 200,000 actually in the end that they spent more on it. Um, that also results in a higher administration cost spending. Uh, however, they spent less here than originally planned. The total budget remains identical, 2,900,000. So here the project made use of the flexibility rule in a, in a uh, perfectly legitimate way. Okay, let's look at the following example. Uh, here we have, uh, so when for once not looking at the budget lines, but at work packages. Uh, this project has not yet spent all their budget, is overspending already in two work packages here and in communication. Uh, a rather small overspend. Um, in both cases, they're under 20%, uh, so that's completely fine. Again, that might mean that in might mean that individual partners have spent more than 20% on on partner level, but as long as it's okay on project level, um, the flexibility was correctly applied. Um, so we also see now two examples of uh, non-correct application. Uh, actually, we had this example before. Here, the project had an equipment budget, no equipment budget planned. Um, nonetheless, they a partner declared equipment budget to the FLC. Uh, even the flexibility rule doesn't help you with this because 20% uh, of zero are zero, so those costs will be rejected. Um, another example here, uh, your partner, different partner budgets. Um, this one partner here has a total budget of 322,000 but uh, reports actually uh, far more than 100,000. Um, so regardless that it's even beyond the flexibility rule, but we said before the total partner budget needs to be respected. And this is so the maximum for this partner remains the original budget, 322,000. Okay, um, how to monitor and uh, a few recommendations uh, that we have on, on program level. So it's really important uh, that you and I agree internally on project level how to apply the flexibility rule then at partner level. Um, for simplicity, we recommend that as a standard rule, you just say or you agree between partners 
20% everybody is allowed, then you have no issues at project level. Then if for a given partner, the 20% on partner level are not enough, uh, come together with the partners, see if maybe another partner does not need this 20% uh, or if any way you need that this partner will need more on this budget line or, or work package level. And then you can may make individual arrangements really for this, for where it's needed. So don't straight check it yourselves and, and saying, okay, uh, partners cannot go beyond the 20% because on, on our side, on program side, this is this is completely legitimate as long as you do not exceed the 20% on project level. Um, then the third recommendation is very important. Please closely monitor your budget and use also your own budget monitoring tools. Uh, occasionally, we have projects that just continue submitting expenditure uh, no matter their original budget, please look at it because if it if you first report much more than you should be than you should be reporting, um, um, it it just prolongs the process because it will be rejected at some level. So just monitor uh, your budget, and it's also important because of course you will only uh, really get an issue if you reach the 120 percent. Um, but if you have not monitored before and maybe one partner has exceeded uh, his own budget by, by a high amount and that means there's no nothing left for the other partners, um, you, you have an issue there. So it, it is really important that you, that you constantly monitor um, your, your own budget as partners, as lead partner. So in practice, that means before you're submitting a partner report, always check, am I overspending anywhere? Uh, you know, what have I reported so far? What am I reporting now? And if so, if I'm overspending, is that within the agreed limits of the flexibility rule? Um, then a special role for the lead partner before submitting a project report, please also always check, are work packages or barge lines or partner budgets succeeded? Are my partners reporting too much? Um, if yes, is this okay within the allowed limits of the flexibility rule? Is that also okay what we agreed internally with the project? If everything is fine, you submit. If not, please make the correction because if you submit it like this to the to the program, we have to make the corrections or we have to revert it to you. That means until you receive your money, it will take a lot more time. So do please do this before you submit. Um, yeah, how how can you monitor this? Um, this is not specific to the flexibility rule, but still a very helpful tool. You have as a lead partner the access to the project living tables where you can see the life spending, life spending of submitted expenditure of your partners in the different work packages, uh, the spending uh, on budget line level. So that's really a very quick and easy view. You just go into the EMS in your project and you have the project living tables in the left menu. If you're not a lead partner or a partner, you can uh, you have also access to the living tables of your, your own living tables as a partner, where you can also check uh, how you're spending and your what, what is approved expenditure at partner level. Um, then the last final two attention points, uh, avoid surprises at the end, so uh, really make sure that as lead partner you do monitor that, that your partners are not spending much more than what you agreed. And also make sure that you use the correct numbers, because the flexibility rule is calculated on the basis of the latest approved application form. So if you made any changes in the application and actually maybe your budget has decreased in a certain budget line, uh, you always need to apply it on the latest approved version. Um, it also means if you had a major change, uh, the flexibility rule will always be applied on the new version. Uh, so there's no calculation of what happened before and after. It's always on the on the on the basis of the latest approved application form. Um, so this is a general presentation. I don't know if there are any questions. Uh, the project managers of the Joint Secretariat and the regional antennas are of course available always to help you with this. Um, we hope you find this helpful. Um, yes, and with this, I will close this little presentation. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.